Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I'm Zelda Master and as we can see, Darbus is going ham. Destroying the boulders covering the hidden village here. So there is a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it the Forgotten Place. The scent that has been burning my nostrils. It is a scent of evil. There is one powerful creature I have seen about, but under the beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are thirty, no, at most twenty of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled, leaderless, into this village. If that is all there is, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them, but you will have to defeat them all to save the girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you a secret to besting them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Oh. Got it, little human? Alright, so yeah, Darbus opens up the path for us and gives us a pretty nice tip, but, I mean, we didn't really need that tip. I kind of saw it coming. But yeah, guys, this is the hidden village where Ilya uh, apparently stayed at for the time being while she was saved, and hopefully we're going to find the person who did rescue Ilya, and we'll get more info on... Uh, retracing her memory as well as the uh, the rod with you know the rod of the heavens to take us to the sky so yeah it's pretty much going to benefit us in two different ways so let's go ahead and get started and as you can see this cutscene is like a western type of cutscene I can imagine Link you know grabbing a gun out of his holster but he didn't have that we have instead a bow that we're going to use to kill all these guys and the music that plays is so awesome this whole game is really western like I actually really like the theme for it and this area is so awesome. So, yeah, we have 20 stinking bulblins that we're going to have to take care of. And they're not going to be hard at all, so we don't have to worry. I'm going to try to snipe the majority of them while I can. So if I hit this barrel here, bam, we got two of them. Pretty badass. Now I can snipe this guy. But yeah, I'm going to try to at least kill half of them before I uh, decide to... Um to get moving yeah because he said we should kill them all or at least we should try to attack them before they spot us which is indicating that we're supposed to use our bow and arrow and stuff and okay so we almost have half of them destroyed here's one and then here's another one uh so far so good okay i believe nine left okay no ten no okay nine it takes a while for the thing to update i guess but yeah there are 20 in total and it's not going to be that hard but this is the village that the uh quote unquote sheikah tribe they don't actually say the sheikah tribe but they just say the uh tribe that guarded the royal family resided in it and this is pretty much it it's completely run over it's all you know abandoned and it looks deserted it's not really the prettiest uh, view but it's still really nice to visit and it's actually really small when you do come around it but yeah here's another one I believe this guy is not going to attack us because he is uh, guarded by a window. So he doesn't want to break the window he's using. Same goes for... Oh, let's make sure this guy doesn't actually hit us. And let's kill him. Actually, I want to see if he'll break the window, the one up here. I guess not. Yeah, they're literally going to stand there still. So, yeah, if one's uh, guarded by a window, then you can easily kill him. And I'm trying to be tactical here. Think if I can kill this guy from there, but I can't actually do that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and kill the rest. It's not really that hard, nor does it take long. It's not time consuming in the slightest. But do remember where the locations for all these uh bulblins are because you're gonna have to do something really similar like this, but not necessarily this. Uh, and you will see later on, but I believe the last one's gonna be right up here because it's indoors, right? Or no, wait, what? Oh my god, I don't know where the last one is for some reason. Uh, well, they're not going to be that hard to find because, yeah, they do move around and they are looking to kill you. Oh, the last one is actually here as well, so I did get him in a good order because the last one's hidden up here on the very top. I'm really dumb. I totally forgot that, but there we go. They have all been destroyed. And now we have done it. So, yeah, the door is going to unlock and a really old lady is going to walk out. This is the lady that apparently saved Ilya, and the one that Ilya was speaking of earlier. So, the howls of the beast, they faded into silence. Hey, what's up? I'm here, I saved the day. So wait, are you? The savior, it's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening the door. It's okay, I mean, you were most likely gonna get killed if you did. My name is Impas, another reference to the Shiga tribe. Uh, there's a Z in her name, and she will actually explain 
what it is, but I am the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from, yeah, uh, the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of the proud tribe who served the royal family, but it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but your name... Link. Yeah, yeah my name is Link. Ah, I knew it. So then, you saved that nice girl. Yes. How lovely. So, apparently she knows about us from Ilya. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. Literally, what I said. <laughs> That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman even though uh, I helped her to escape from here. I mean, I, I, yeah, you helped her, so why shouldn't she worry about you? By real order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter what terrible fate is, vi is visited upon it. I do love how they use, you know, terrible fate there, another reference, but yeah. Oh, but listen to me, Blatheron. I have a favor to ask. Would you return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart. But even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. What is it? Okay, it's Ilya's charm. And this is pretty much just like a horseshoe grass. Instead, uh, you know, it's, it's a charm, of course, so you can use it whenever and carry it with you, which is pretty nice. But yeah, this is the key to getting back Ilya's memory. Which is awesome. So I believe in my heart that it'll keep it. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask you to return it to that girl. We will, because little does she know that she has no idea who she even is. So maybe this charm will be the key to restoring Ilya to her former self. Now we could just teleport. You could say, oh, okay, let's just go ahead and uh, try to teleport like this. But I believe. Yeah, you can't because uh, Midna won't let you because we don't want to scare off Impas here. She's just chilling. You can actually enter her house as well, which we're going to want to do a little bit later from here. But for now, she just wants us to return Ilya's charm, which we'll do. And then we'll head back to her and speak to her about the um, Rod of Heavens, which is the Dominion Rod we currently hold. Uh, apparently, she knows of it, according to Ilya, but... You know, we have something more important ahead of us, which is returning Ilya's memory back. So what you got to do is you actually got to leave this area. And actually, let me try something. So they added the ghost lantern, right? And there's actually a pole located in this area. It should be right here, but it doesn't appear until later on. Uh, until you kind of like finish a couple of quests and then you come back and it should appear. So, oh, it doesn't even glow either. That's so weird. So, yeah, it's actually interesting i mean i'm assuming the pose actually is still there of course because uh the pole locations haven't really changed from the original game which is really nice because then i know where they all are but i do want to get that pole and we will get that pole i'll let you know when the pole does appear i'll be sure to keep the lantern on me to see when it does appear uh in the area but now what we need to do is we need to head straight to kakariku village give Ilya her charm and see what we need to do next because yeah, hopefully this will recover Ilya's memory, and I do really like the charm. You can't currently use it, but yeah, just keep in mind that we will be able to use it, because it does serve like a horseshoe grass. It's just a little more uh, special. See, we can actually see horseshoe grass right here, and then we can compare it to the charm, which is here. Let's go ahead and take it out. I just actually want to look at it one more time. It's glowing somehow, but yeah, it looks just like it. Not as dead, though, because I'm assuming it's, it's not a plant like the horseshoe grass which is a really interesting type of plant for them to add within the game but all right anyways now it's time to show Ilya the charm and see what happens next and the cutscene that's actually going to happen is really interesting so here you go Ilya I got your charm back maybe this will jog your memory and <gasps> it will I I knew you once Yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay. Long ago, when we were young, you and I. You were always there. You were always by my side. Link.
This was a gift meant for you. It was something I wanted to give to you before you left on your journey. Please, Link, take it. You got the horse call. Ilya made this just for Epona. I can't tell if Link is actually shaking because he's so touched by it or what, but either way, it's floating right now, so it looks really funny the way he's holding it. But either way, yeah, we got Ilya's charm, which is now known as the Horse Call. And we can set it and we can call Epona with it, which is really nice. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. It's nice to know. Alright, so that's good. Ilya is now back to normal. I'm sure Link is really happy and... Link, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messenger to the heavens who held the Rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations. So they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Say, Link, do you have any idea who this messenger is uh, to the heavens might be? Or even what the rod is? Well, Ilya, little do you know that I am the messenger. And I do hold the rod. Sadly, I can't actually pull it out and show it off. But yeah, so Impez is actually waiting for us, funny enough. And so is Ilya waiting for us. So Link has a lot to uh, to deal with and a lot on his play. And I guess he's destined to do a lot as well because Impez was waiting for us. So now what we want to do is we want to head straight back to the Hidden Village and let Impez know that we are the heavenly messenger as uh, they refer us as and what's nice is i don't have to actually pick up a horseshoe grass to call opponent now i can use Ilya's charm for that and it's going to be really convenient in the long run because uh i'm not really actually we've made it pretty late within the game to where we can teleport to most areas so i take that back it's not it's not convenient eh, it's still convenient regardless because i'd have to run up right now let's see let's actually open up the map i'd have to like run up here or down there to pick up a horseshoe grass but it wouldn't take too long as wolf link as it is uh either way yeah okay let's just go ahead and do this pull it out and then call opona it's actually a really nice item regardless like i i just feel like if they added this item earlier within the game it would be way more helpful like when you couldn't actually teleport freely but getting it so light is still fine by me like i'm not uh, I don't really care because <laughs> it's not really that important of an item. I feel like, you know, Nintendo did a good job with uh, finding horseshoe grass and just it being convenient for you because opponent is really awesome to travel with. Like, I love how fast she really is. And I don't know, this game is like the best when it comes to horseback riding. And I believe it's because uh, the game designers actually went horseback riding and like got a feel of it as well. I remember hearing that in um one of the nintendo uh uh twilight princess retrospectives that they did i remember watching all of that when they did it for twilight princess hd it was actually really interesting and i highly suggest you guys watch it if you haven't it's all on nintendo's youtube channel so you can always check that out <laughs> kind of random home advertising that but you know I, I just think it's something interesting to watch to say the least to see what the creators thought when developing the game because zelda is just such an interesting concept and i just love talking about it but yeah we're back in the hidden village we can become a wolf now because impas is in her house and now it's infested with stinking cats yeah cats everywhere and uh interesting enough these cats uh are are gonna play a certain thing here actually first okay i didn't mean to talk to him they're gonna all tell us to talk to the cuckoo leader which is this guy over here and before i do speak to the cuckoo leader i actually want to Listen to this Howling Stone, so I can play another song. Okay, it goes like that. It's going to be a little hard to get down. You know what? There's an easier way to do this. If you don't know how to do a Howling Stone, uh, I highly suggest doing this. I know this seems really cheap, but that way you can get an idea of where the lines should be. And then you can kind of map it out. So now I know it's going to be in the middle, then low, then middle, then up, then all the way down. And all the way up, and then down, and then up, then down, then down, and there you go, and we did it! 
So yeah, if the songs are long, hard to memorize how to play the notes, just <laughs> scribble all over it and it will show you a general idea of how you want to play the Howling Stone and then you can do it. That's just my method, like a cheap way of doing it. But now let's go ahead and play this and see what hidden skill it's going to give us. This is actually going to be the final hidden skill. So the Hero Shade is going to teach us the last technique. So what the previous hero knew, we're finally going to learn all of uh, the special techniques the last hero knew, which was based off the Hero of Time. And that's why I really like the Hero Shade. It's such an interesting character as well. Uh, but I'm talking over this. So Teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. That's the last time we'll hear that. And it was such a good song. It was kind of like the Twilight Princess fanfare victory slash title screen theme. I don't really know. It, you, you get what I mean. Like this, this we've heard this song before. And uh, interesting enough, the Golden Wolf, which is uh, the hero shade, will be located in front of Hyrule Castle, which is actually really cool. But before I head there and learn the final hidden skill and do all of that, I actually want to talk or speak to this cuckoo, yeah, so we can play this mini game. So, oh, welcome. This is the Forgotten Village, as they like to refer as 30, no more like 20. That's how many cats have made it back to this village. So just like Darbus, you know, gets confused. I like the reference. And now we have to play this again. And I, what, I, what I like about this as well is what's going to happen here. And also, yes, you're supposed to talk to 20 cats. You can't leave the village and you need to talk to all 20 different cats uh, from, you know, one start to the end. That's his advice as well. He gives us advice like Darbus. And we get this scene again, this time with stinking cats. It's hilarious. Like the Western, you know, like intro with Link walking. This time it's not Link, it's Wolf Link. Oh yeah, he is ready. And the door is closed still. I don't, I don't, know why they're emphasizing on the door still. Maybe they should have zoomed in on a cat or something, which I'm assuming they're not going to at the end. It's going to be like, oh, yeah, the door. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Let's get started. So, it's time to talk to cats. And I highly suggest being really careful when doing this, because when a cat sees you, wait, when a cat sees you, it's going to want to, oh, I believe only if you talk to it, it'll want to run towards you. Maybe, huh? No, they'll still run towards you, see, even if you don't speak to them. So this is what makes it difficult because a lot of the cats look alike. It's not like they're different colors. And, y yeah, they walk. If they didn't move, it would be a whole lot easier. But the thing is, they do move, which makes it really difficult to deal with because then, yeah, you'll get confused on which cat you spoke to and which you haven't. If this does happen to become really, really difficult for you, and you don't know what to do, there is another method where you can just pick up the cats and kind of put them uh, in a corner. Like, Link like will actually pick it up like that, and he's actually really happy when holding it. <laughs> but, yeah, you can place it somewhere far away, and hopefully it won't move. Or it might still... Ah, uh, it's still moving. Okay, well, I guess there's really no way behind that. But, either way, I'm going to try to do this with these. Uh, so, we got three down. Let's go ahead and speak to this one over here. This one hasn't moved. So, hey, what's up? Meow, what fun? Fourth, okay. Yeah, I'm hoping I can do this without struggling too hard because I just feel like this does give me a lot of trouble. Okay, so there's that one, this one, one, two, three, four. Just trying to make sure no cats have popped up without me noticing to where I think I spoke to it, but I didn't because I, I feel like every time I play this, uh, at least the couple times I've done it, or I okay, I've done it quite a bit, let's be honest. But back then when I used to play this game a whole lot, um yeah they uh they would move and it would just completely confuse me towards the end because i'd have no idea where the last couple are or the last literally the last one because i'd be speaking to the same ones constantly so i'm hoping i can get this one down uh so ninth one and this will be the 10th i believe we'll have 11 before entering indoors anywhere so where's the oh oh this one moved okay never mind then huh or is this the one that i haven't spoke to Nope, we've spoke to all of these ones apparently. Okay, so we're good. Let's just go ahead and start 
entering indoors and seeing where the remaining are. I'm hoping I can do this with ease, like I said, because I feel like, you know, it's just really easy to avoid one without noticing. Was that the one up there? So there's one supposed to be on top of these crates, but apparently it fell when it noticed me. That's another thing I really dislike about the cats, how they do move like that. And if they get off of platforms, I mean, yeah, it just makes it overall really confusing. But I'm hoping I can get this right. It's just the fact that they do end up becoming all clumped together and it's, yeah, not too fun to deal with. But let's just go ahead and speak to this one. This will be number what? 13? Okay, I feel like we're doing decent progress. At least I hope so. <gasps> there's another one right here. Okay, not bad. 14. Uh, there's another one right there. If I can... No, oh, okay, I couldn't make that jump. Whatever, it's fine. Just go ahead and walk around. And then we'll see. Because I don't want to cut any of this out. I want to show you guys the progress of speaking to every single cat and see if i can do this so 16 hmm okay 17 18 19 oh my god i have a feeling i'm gonna be literally missing one cat literally what i was dreading is what's gonna happen because i i ha i know where three more are but i have no idea where the last one's gonna be actually no maybe not no i know where all of them are okay so we got that one down and then there should be one over here yes they're pretty much in ex the exact location, or in very similar locations as the Bulblins, and that's why they're not that hard to find, but... Ugh! Okay, that was a horrible jump. I didn't know why I didn't just go for an actual jump, but there is a cat beyond that window, and you need to somehow jump to it. It's not hard, as long as you don't target like what I did. That was a pretty rookie mistake on my part, but hey, I don't care. Let's just go ahead and get this done with. So let's transform back into a wolf and then speak to the last two cats because I believe this is going to be the 18th one. No, come on. Okay, don't over jump. Now it's going to, uh, this is going to be the difficult part. Just speaking to one of the cats that I know where it is. I've never had this problem, by the way. It's so weird how now I can't make a stinking jump. Either I don't jump far enough or I jump too far. So yeah okay let's just try to yeah god dang it okay this is so dumb please link don't do this and don't talk to me i already spoke to you yeah we're buddies sure buddies <laughs> as i'm getting salty right now because i'm unable to uh to talk to one of the cats you know let's just make the jump as link i don't think link will make much of the jump or at least that far of a jump link is not really much of the jumper there we go okay you fell off are you serious right now is this supposed to be a joke okay well then let's fall off too now let's speak to it thanks 19th okay Jeez. wow that was really rude and the last one is behind these boxes which i remember this one gave me a lot of trouble so 20th one Woo, you did it yay okay let's go ahead and speak to the cuckoo leader and get our prize Yay, okay, thank god. I was actually kind of dreading this at first when I was gonna record this video, but I guess it wasn't that hard, you know? I was uh was kind of overdoing it with uh with assuming it would be hard, but it's not. So yeah, you talked to all of them. Thanks. Now your prize in front of the old lady's house. Make sure you pick it up before you leave. And they don't really show us what it is, so if you didn't read the dialogue, then <laughs> You might be in a pickle being like, well, I, I did it and I got nothing. That's so, you know, unfair. But no, you do get a piece of heart uh, from doing this. So there we go. Two more and we'll fulfill another heart container. Now, actually, let me quickly transform into human. Do I have my lantern out? No, I don't. I actually want to take it out and see. It's not on still, huh? So the, uh, the Poe. What? The Poe is here, though, and the lantern's not on? Th this does not make much sense. Either way, the Poe appears after you do this. So now that we, uh, now that the Poe has appeared, let's go ahead and kill it quick so we can get another Poe for the soul. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do just that, but uh, I actually need to head up and do it. So let me quickly transform back into a wolf. I don't know why I did that right there, how it transformed into wolf, then back to human, then back to wolf. Like, yeah, pretty dumb on my part. But hey, let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah oh yeah we got the pose soul I'm, I'm really surprised the lantern didn't go off i guess they didn't perfect every area w with how the lantern works and i think that's a i mean it's a minor like bug but it doesn't bother me because i knew there's a poe there so whatever and now you guys know if you're watching and you happen to not know or something but 
All right, let's go ahead and enter the old lady Impa's house. And uh, sounds weird saying Impa's house because it sounds like saying Impa's house, not Impa's with the with the Z. Uh, anywho, uh, let's go ahead and pull out the rod and see what she says. So, hey, that rod. Isn't that the Dominion Rod? Ah, could it really be? Are you the messenger of the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from one time when the Oka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it is said that a mysterious rod was landed down, was handed down from the people of the sky, and it is called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Oka. From generations to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by the royal decree, was to be given to the messenger of the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. And we got ourselves the ancient sky book. This is literally what Shad has been looking for. So we're going to go ahead and see if Shad can translate any of it. So the book is written yeah, in ancient language of the sky writing. I'm so glad I stayed in the village. So yeah, she was waiting for us, meaning that girl must have, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it was all destined by the gods, I guess. So, all right, we're down in the cats. You can actually see them when we were speaking to her. They were playing in the background and they're just staring at us, which is pretty funny, but okay. So that's done with and the first uh thing we should do now that we have the sky book is head back to shad which you know he's located over in kakariko but, but i want to do this first which is uh learn a new hidden skill the final hidden skill from castle town because i don't want to forget this uh, it's easy to forget but you'll end up no matter what having to learn it if you played the howling stone because yeah there's gonna come a certain point within the game where you're gonna have to head to hyrule castle but Obviously not yet. So let's just go ahead and quickly run. And I don't have to turn into human and actually I don't have to turn into human at all, I'm pretty sure, right? Or do I? Yeah, I do, because he won't attack you unless you're in his human form and that stinking guy is uh terrified. But hey, I don't feel bad running in here as a wolf because it is uh Yeah, it's daytime or it's nighttime. Oh, these guys are afraid. Who really cares? Luckily the guards up here uh, are no longer attending the uh, or trying to protect the castle and I'm assuming because we have a giant barrier that Zant created over the castle so it's not like we can do much about it and yeah we can't actually go any further from here it's a giant barrier and the castle is just completely protected but it doesn't matter let's just go ahead and actually wait, I want to speak to him one more time because I want to take this all in because this yeah I, I just love these parts within the game so with sword in hand, return to me. Yeah, okay, he says the same thing. Let's go ahead and transform so we can have... Wait, can I not transform in front of him? I'm pretty sure you can. That's so dumb. Okay, let's go ahead and run here. Wait a second. Oh, I guess because everyone's generally terrified from me, so I should have turned into human before coming here. That was a huge mistake, I guess, on my part. So let me just quickly run out and then try this again so uh yeah that was <laughs> that was really dumb on my part can i actually transform here? no midna will not let us transform at all as long as we entered castle town as a wolf so yeah i i don't know why i did that for some reason i thought i would get away with it i guess now i know now i figured out that mistake so let's go ahead and undo this mistake by doing this so yeah, we can't go as fast as a wolf, but hey, whatever, it's fine. I'll just spam the A button. Actually, that's what I do as a wolf, because when you attack, you like kind of sprint for a bit as a wolf, which is pretty nice. A uh, feature I really liked in Skyward Sword was giving Link the running option. It made rolling not so important, unlike in every other 3D Zelda game, where rolling is super useful because you do go faster. Except actually Majora's Mask as well, because they gave Link a sprinting option, which was the bunny hood so yeah sadly this game and wind waker and ocarina of time don't have anything like that but all right here we go it's time to learn the final hidden skill let's see what it is it's funny how it's hidden scale and we did the hidden village huh see it all adds up right <laughs> all right here we go so the hero she is back at last the time is now this is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate secret technique, and it tests the courage of the one who wields it. 
Do you wish to master this final hidden skill, which can be earned only by the true hero? I do. Very well. Then before we begin, I will test to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the jump strike. Now then, come at me, bro. All right, let's go. Charge this and bam, you're out cold. Yeah, it's really nice. And just like the last hidden skill, which was a jump strike, this will be an attack that will improve a, an attack we already know. So, excellent. excellent. It appears it you are certainly capable, capable of performing my lost start. art. Very well, my know. final my hidden skill, skill is, is the great, great spin. spin. Let it be honed into your mind. mind. Alright, here we go. So, the final skill, the great spin. It's actually not that impressive. It just improves your spin attack. So, yeah. Uh, so you have, you have at, your at your disposal the basic, the basic sword, sword technique known as a spin, spin attack. attack. You, have you have mastered numerous, numerous hidden skills, skills and now house, house the spirit of the true hero. hero. You now have you in have you the ability, ability to magnify, magnify the power, the power of, of your spin, spin attack. attack. But, the, but only the only time, time you can draw out the power, power is when your life energy is brimming full. full. Now, now, try unleashing the spin attack on me. Let's go. Here we go. It's uh, it's pretty easy. As long as we have full HP, we can do it. So just go ahead and charge it up and yeah. There we go. We did it. Impressive. Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is burning full. Remember this. The final hidden skill, the spin attack, has been passed on. And there we go. We have learned it. Oh yeah, it's... Just a lot stronger. I mean, it does. It's like a bigger radius to your attack and does additional damage. Uh, there you go. It literally tells you that. So, yeah, even more damage. You have at last, at last mastered last all of the hidden skills. skills. Although, Although I accept I life as a hero, as I could not convey the lessons, the lessons of that, that life to those, those who came after. after. At, least, at least, I have, I have eased my regrets. regrets. You, who you who have marched through countless, countless foes, foes, each mightier each than the last. last. You, who now gaze to the future with the vision unclouded. Surely you can restore Hyrule to its stature of yore as the chosen land of the gods. Farewell. Go on and do not falter, my child. And that's the last we'll ever hear from the Hero Shade. Alright, well, that was pretty interesting. And, uh... Yeah, I guess that does that. So now let's go ahead and make our way to Kakariko Village and let Shad know what's going on with uh, the Dominion Rod and as well as the Sky uh, Book that we obtained from Impas. And we'll see if he can help us out. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!